So, welcome back. We are at our new test bed area, and today we are going to finally find out which is more efficient. We're doing conveyor Mark IV versus a truck all the way over there. Um, it doesn't look as far as it actually is, but it is actually quite far away. Basically, we are here and we are traveling to the other side of the map to pick up the goods. So it is quite far. And today we're hoping to prove whether or not vehicles are actually, in certain circumstances, more efficient than the Mark IV conveyor, which at the moment is our bottleneck in our factory builds. So we did three trials before jumping into this one where we're going to finally settle it. The first trial was what's faster, the Mark IV conveyor transporting one full con large container of items to another, the other side of the map, or a tractor transporting all the items from a truck station to another one. Surprisingly, the tractor did win. We then tested the theory of a miner mining the items and then taking it to a truck stop or a storage unit, and then the conveyor and the trucks transporting that said item back to some more truck stops um, or conveyor um, container units, and then on to the factory. 1v1, the conveyor won. It also won when we trialed it against the Explorer, but only just, so speed is something. However, today, after many people um, mentioning in comments how conveyors are less efficient, we are going to finally work out if that is true. We have two things that we're going to do. The first one is a 1v1, once again, conveyor, um, well, the miner to a storage unit. We're just going to fill up one of these. And the same, the miner through to the storage unit using one truck. Just to see whether using our own built road is going to be more efficient for the truck because we're removing the chances of it hitting an obstacle. Now, our second trial is using a truck to be fed by three truck stops uh, in a V formation and then depositing all the items to three separate truck stops the other end to see if it's more efficient than a single Mark IV, which obviously, if it works, will be. Also, people keep mentioning about the frames dropping due to use of the conveyors. I haven't put this into consideration. I do know it exists. The only reason I am ignoring it is because there's not really a fair test. I'm not going to set up loads of trucks in order to try it out. Um, and to be fair, with my build, though it is quite big, um, I've not had that much of a frame rate drop. I am using quite a good PC there. So I'm going to leave that out of the equation so that we can just see pen on paper which is more efficient. So let us jump straight in. We're going to actually reverse to the bottom of this just to give the um, truck station a bit of time to fill up. Oh shit. Nope, 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 nope. I think I'm going to need to build some walls. Oh wait, it's back! It's back! That's fantastic! Okay, we can just set it up now. Yes, we'll do it now. Well, we'll wait for it to, to get here and then we can test it. Oh, that was a relief. It's loading, it's loading. Yeah, it's going to load again, I think. I have no idea. This is the one big issue with vehicles is they are not optimized at the moment. So it, it's difficult to do a fair test. Go on, get out of here, skedaddle. Yeah, so as you can see, even the truck is quicker than the conveyors. So there's obviously that you need to take into consideration. It is faster and thus it should be more efficient. However, due to us still using the conveyor at the end, that's why I've always been under the presumption that it is less efficient. Oh, when you realize you haven't recorded. So, <laughs> just to verify, this is still loading up. 1v1, this is full. So the conveyor won. 
But this one, we're going to see. Um, obviously, this is going to be, I'm pretty sure, a lot more efficient than the conveyor. So we're going to see how many items we can actually transport to here before the conveyor container fills up. Now, what you may want to point out to me is that with me using three truck stops, it's the same as me using three um, three conveyors. Uh, yes, your argument is correct, but bear in mind they did mention there is a frames drop if you're using multiple conveyors. And the other thing is, at the moment, we're only limited by our conveyor speed. So if we're using three separate miners, we're making the most out of the three miners and we're getting the most accurate results because we're actually able to transport three conveyors worth of items in one truck at a time. Okay, let us <coughs> get started. Um, let's run. No, oh, well, that was a brilliant start. So it's, it's on its way. We're gonna try and fill up the three truck stations. Well, get them started, and then we will set up the conveyor to try and keep it as accurate to the real thing as possible. And they are off, and as you can see, all three of them have been loading. So, which one will win? What we will do is we will wait for it to come back and drop everything off, and then we will stop this conveyor line, once all of these have emptied theirs. <laughs> oh, goodness me. And then we will see exactly how much the truck was able to send in the same amount of time between these three crates as it took for these three crates from a conveyor. That sounds like a good idea. So the truck is still not in sight, however, the conveyor belt has filled up all of this one and is now, well, on its first row of the second conveyor. And the truck has almost filled this one, but I think it's still got plenty more items to down, uh, download, export, unload, that's the word we're looking for. So unfortunately I couldn't stop it when you were when I was recording for you guys, but we have stopped the vehicle, it has unloaded everything. The first, well, this one has already stopped, the second one has now finished, and we only have, he says as it saves and freezes up the game, only 240 left. So as soon as this runs out, and we are getting close, I will stop that. I think that is fair. And then we will see exactly how many items. Oh, last hundred. Each received from the same amount of content. Well, from the miners. Okay, it's coming. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty much spot on. So I'm going to put on the screen the numbers right now because I've already forgotten them. But Mythbusters, what is more efficient, the truck stops with a truck or the conveyor? Well, the truck can transport more per minute than a conveyor. So vehicles are more efficient in terms of their pure transportational power. However, everything is being bottlenecked by our conveyors at the moment. So 1v1, the conveyor wins. However, if you have multiple truck stations being fed by multiple different miners, then the truck is going to be more efficient slightly, providing that you do not have any issues in terms of collisions or anything slowing down the vehicle along the way. So there you are guys, that's all we have time for in this video. If you did find it helpful, please do drop a click on that thumbs up. We're going to have more Mythbusters uh, in this video series for Satisfactory coming up. Also, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. If you don't, you will probably miss the next Mythbusters, which 
I think it's quite fun. Uh, also, if you have a myth that you want me to prove or disprove, do mention it in the comment section below. And last but not least, we do have a live video stream every Sunday at 5 p.m. GMT. So if you do want to join us, make sure you keep that penciled in. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now.